Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue on the quotes example that I created earlier. I've added a document library named quotes. I've added some quotes in here and I've added some quote dates and decision dates and also the outcome of the decision and the quote value. I'm going to change one of these values now so that I can see that it was actually approved, the quote was approved. One of the beauties of working with SharePoint document library is that, that you can now see the entire flow of the decision making here. So I can go into the version history and see that in version 4 here the decision was undecided and then a few minutes later the decision got changed to yes. So you get a whole change log of everything I did with this document. So that's rather powerful. Another thing that I wanted to show you is that you can continue working with this document library to add new views. So you can add a new view, like a standard view here, the undecided. So I'll just do that and I'll filter and I'll show only those where the decision is equal to one undecided, right? So that makes it very easy. So I have here all the documents and we have the undecided ones. And of course, we do want to have a quote um, total on that too also. So let's make a total there. There we have the quote value and I want to have a sum of that. There we go. All right. So that uh, created a new view with undecided quote value here. I could have just created a view based on one of these because both of these views now have the totals in it. So if I start from the undecided and create a one that is decided or uh, approved, let's call it that. And um, I'll just do the um, totals is of course already in there as you see, sum on uh, quote value, but now I'll just change the decision there and make that to yes, right? So there I have the one. So I have the approved, the undecided, and the all of them. So in that demonstration, I showed you how to create some new views based on the quotes example. Thank you for watching this demonstration.